You having fun here in China? Yes, I have fun here in China. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they didn't really call it ROP until we got to the specialist. Um, they just basically was telling me that she's got some issues with her with her um, her eyes and nobody has ever given me any kind of surgery and that was a, it was a battle to stop her eyes from moving it around. was constant going to the doctors and constant um, you know surgery. And it's just she's turning she looks like a different person mm -hmm. the children's choir children's mm -hmm. choir we're talking, she, this is all natural. No glasses, no contacts, no cane. She has nothing on. Tatiana is um, um, five years old. She was born premature. Um, she was born at one pound, zero ounces, four months early. Um, so she's a little miracle baby that she even survived. Praise the Lord that she, she survived. Um, and so she has, Everything okay with her? Checked out. Good bill of health in here. Except um, um, she has uh, vision problems, which is um, they've diagnosed her with um, ROP, with the which is retinopathy of prematurity, and um, she has stage five, which is like the worst. Um, and I, I'm finding this more common than than I I thought it was. I never even heard of it before. Um, you know, ta when Tatiana was born, we had so many different kind of ailments to try and keep her alive one one of which was to keep her alive and then she had um, she was on a ventilator when she was first born and she um, she had a hole in her heart so she had to have that closed up so we had surgery for that um, blood pressure problems eating problems breathing just all a host of different things that we had to to um, overcome and then they watched me with this with the vision thing and I thought okay well we'll just have LASIK surgery and it'll be all fixed. Wrong! <laughs> That's not what happened. So Tatiana has light perception and she can see you know if she walks in a room if the light is on or off um, and she can I think she can see silhouettes it's kind of hard to tell because she's you know she's a toddler but from what I can tell she, I think she can see silhouettes so she can see walls or um, people just so she won't bump into them but as far as any detail um, she doesn't see detail or anything like that so um, been asking the doctors is there anything that can else can be done and basically all they're doing now is maintenance um, every time we go to the doctor we you know let me know if her retina still attached yeah okay well that's good but she still can't see I don't expect her to have perfect vision um, but anything that's better will help her so much in life. I mean, the, she would, you know, the fact that we are able to get light perception is just tremendous because light perception will help her be mo more mobile. Um, you know, so I'm happy for that. But if we can get with with the stem cells, get more detail, get more, you know, colors, and and get um, um, be able to identify things and know what she's looking at. Oh my! The the sky's the limit. I mean, <laughs> I mean, even if she has to wear contacts or glasses, I wear glasses. <laughs> I don't care about that. <laughs> so that's what I'm looking for. And well, I tell you, Tatiana's giving me some big clues, and I'm like totally missing it here. <laughs> Cut! No, I was playing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> don't put that in there. Um, you know, I don't know really. She she has been she's been giving me some big clues, and I've been totally missing it. But um, yes, big clues. <laughs> um, like for one thing, the very the well, the first big clue was that she's all of a sudden started to walk. She wanted to walk around the hospital all by herself. She didn't want me to hold her hand. She was like, "I got this, mommy. Let me go." And she just started walking around, and I just thought she was just trying to be, you know. I don't know, just trying to be bad, I don't know. So um, I told the doctor that about maybe a week later, and he was like, oh, he said that's a major, I mean, that's a major accomplishment because that means that she's getting, you know, more light in um, where, or she's seeing more where she's more confident to go and walk around by herself without holding my hand. Because usually she holds my hand or she walks with a cane. And, um, and oh, I forgot to tell you too, um, Tatiana, before coming here, wears um, contact lenses, very strong contact lenses, and very strong glasses. 
and she uses a white cane. But since we've been here, we've taken all that, no cane, no glasses, no glasses, no contacts, and we're we're just we're gonna treat her all natural and, and see how she progresses. And her walking around without holding my hand or anything has been she would never do that at home. So that was the first thing I saw. And then um, um, her eyes used to wobble a lot. And I've noticed that her eyes are more, um, they don't wobble as much. And they are starting to focus more on the thing that she's looking at. I don't know if she really knows what she's looking at because she's never seen before. So you gotta train her, you know, you gotta train her what she's looking at. But um, I've seen her start to focus and I've seen her eyes stop wobbling and to start being straight. And that, that has really warmed my heart because I've always wanted my daughter to be able to look at me, you know. And so a couple times I've seen her do that when she was here and I was like, oh, my baby. <laughs> I would say definitely come and definitely try it because um, even though the doctors back in um, back home may disagree or not understand about stem cells. Um, I think it, you owe, we owe it to our children to try it. And even if, um, you know, every child is different, even if you get just a little bit of improvement, that little bit of improvement will help them in their lives tremendously, even if it's just a little bit. And more than likely, you're gonna get a whole bunch more of improvement. But even if you get just a little a bit, you've done your child the best, you've given your child the best gifts that you could ever give them, even with just a little bit. But I think you're gonna get a lot more. I know you're gonna get a lot more. So I say we owe it to our children to do it. And I, I owe it to her to, to make this trip, even though I was scared to death, but <laughs> it was the best thing. And I, yeah, I would definitely recommend it. Mm -hmm.